hello and thank you for watching. This is the challenge deck submission for the Helios Ideathon. Uh, currently, we are a team that runs a challenge application, uh, but this is uh, an idea we have for future development that we believe we could build out if we were fortunate enough to receive any Helios funding or win prize money. Uh, so this is titled The Future of Live Streaming, and this is where we believe we can take live streaming and what we can build in live streaming using our technology and the Antelope technology and the EOS technology. We believe we can develop this vision that we, we're going to present in this video and create the future of live streaming. So let's go ahead and take a look at the current state of live streaming. And when I say live streaming, I'm talking about people who pick up their video phones and record themselves or, 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 or and stream live. And uh, commonly people think about people who do this on YouTube or Twitch or, or different platforms like this. And this is a activity that has been growing and continues to grow, is growing at a, a pace of 21.3%. And it's going to continue to grow at that rate till 2030. And it's already at that $70 billion. And it's for forecasted to balloon all the way up to $330 billion by 2030. So this is a large growing market. So what's wrong with it? What's, what's, where's the problems? What's the problems? And, uh, and why even mess with this? Why, why even go into the space or this industry? Uh, but we believe there's a much better way. Currently systems are too costly, they're too centralized, and they're too censored. Everybody in the news is hearing about how different people are being censored on major platforms, which is happening more and more. Fees are astronomical. They can range anywhere from 20% to 50%. If there's people in certain countries that have to do currency conversions, it can be 80% and there's a much better way to do this and, and there's a much easier way where the value can be transferred from one person to another through a live stream and this is how we propose doing it we build a open source obs connection extension that gives users a unique crypto address and we make it EVM compatible. And we run it in the challenge application along with what we're currently doing now. And we'll make the software open source and people are able, will be able to use it uh, in their own systems if they'd like. And we'll have it connected to the Antelope system and the EOS system and the Telos system like we do now currently. And um, OBS is one of the most used live streaming open source pro, uh, software systems. So we figured this would be the, the best way to get adoption and acquisition of users in the live streaming uh, area and making an open source system where people are able to send crypto to live streamers in real time and have real simple functions where when a user receives crypto, a live streamer re receives crypto, then they get a notification. Um, and then in their stream, while they're doing their live stream, there'll be a unique ad identifier, a QR code, or some sort of uh, account where crypto can be sent to directly using the uh, Antelope protocol. And um, we'll make it EVM compatible and that way people will be able who live stream will be able to receive ethereum tokens they'll be able to receive peg tokens um, they'll be able to receive bitcoin eos and they'll have tons of options so how will this be sustainable how what kind of business model can be made from this and and what are our plans for this so we already run the challenge application and we have a model where we have uh, we sell uh, advertisement content packages and we also take a small percentage of all the challenges that are made and for the streaming service we will tie it into the application and we'll have a separate news feed or we'll, or, or we'll tie it in with our news feed 
uh, where people can see these different new uh, streamers while they're live and send them crypto and build a social network around that. And we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll take a small percentage of the crypto that goes through uh, the application and uh, it'll be nowhere near what people pay now. And it will be likely under a percentage, 1% or less. And if we were to do that, we would be 10 times better value, if not more than what's currently available. And people would be able to have access to their funds much quicker too, because traditional centralized systems, streamers can wait anywhere from a week to two weeks to be able to collect the funds that they are sent. So when we use the blockchain technology, crypto technology, we're able to do that instantly uh, through the Antelope protocol and the EOS system. So we would do that and we would also hope to receive enough or have enough deposits of EOS eventually to take advantage of the Yield Plus program. And then also we have our own native token, the CHL token, which will be used to rank content. So the ranking of content is uh, the tokenomics or the utility of the CHL token. And adding this extra capability, we believe, would uh, make uh, the CHL token uh, more useful. A little bit about the Challenge Act team. We have been building on the EOS network. We were one of the first teams to build on the EOS network after Genesis, after the Genesis snapshot and the, the mainnet launch. And uh, we've had eight different versions of our software that we've already released, the Challenge App software, which allows people to create and participate in smart challenge, smart contract challenges that uh, are basically uh, online bounties, crypto bounties that people reward each other for doing different things. Uh, so we are a team that can definitely deliver. We've been building for a long time. We have a whole team of developers, marketers. Uh, we have an active community and we have lots of experience. So we are ready to uh, take this endeavor on. And this is uh, something that we uh, will probably continue to go down regardless and, and, and work in this area regardless. But if we were to receive any funding or support from the Helios team, it would help us get there much faster and would be much appreciated. So thank you for listening and, uh, and thanks.